It's a jacket time. So today we're prepping the leaves. These are banana leaves. We're gonna cut the banana leaves in a smaller shape because each leaf is for one ayaka. So we're gonna cut them, wash them, dry them, and we're gonna chop up the meat for the guiso. As I look at banana leaves, I realize how many cultures use this for so many dishes. Because when I lived in Hawaii, in the Polynesian culture, when they made the made their stove, they dug a hole. Why can't, I'm blanking. Basically, they use the banana leaves as a cover to keep the steam in so the food could cook as they were cooking the food on the ground. So like they would dig a hole, wrap it up, and then they would use a bunch of banana leaves on top to keep the heat in. And then in the Venezuelan culture, we use it for ayaka. And there's a lot of different cultures that make ayaka version. Like they each have their own version. We call them ayakas, other people call them tamales. I know other Hispanic countries have something else, but it's the same idea. Mom's gonna explain something, but she doesn't want in the video, so I'm gonna show my face and she's gonna say the information. Go ahead, mom, the floor is yours. <laughs> ¿Por qué? Porque están muy verdes y en Venezuela cuando las vendes ya están ahumadas quiere decir que lo pasan por fuego y quedan bien suavecitas y es fácil de doblarlas en esa parte I'm gonna make my yacas without raisin and without olives and that doesn't make me any less Venezuelan This is a very big debate between the Venezuelan community of should the pan de jamón and the ayaca be with or without raisin and olives a group of us don't like it, they, we just don't want it. And the other group loves it, and I'm in the group that doesn't like it. We're gonna prep the meat. We're going to boil the chicken, and then just cut up the beef and the pork. Today's day two of making the ayacas. Right now, my parents are chopping up because we're gonna make el guiso. El guiso is just like where all the meat is flavorful, flavor, flavor, condiment, flavor, flavor, deliciousness. We have leek, onion, my mom's cutting more onions. We're also gonna cup, cut up red peppers, more leek, green onions, cilantro, and more red pepper. And then yesterday, we chopped up the beef, the chicken, the pork, the bacon, and then we're also gonna add lots and lots of garlic because we're garlic girls here. Yeah. The monitor that I ordered to fix this arrived today. So if you saw last vlog, my camera fell and the screen no longer works. So I was like, what if I get a monitor to attach to the camera? I don't even know if the camera's recording, babe, but we're gonna hope that it is a new tripod because my old tripod was the reason my camera broke. Bro, my camera's gonna weigh 30 pounds. It's working! My monitor works. It's only 500 pounds, but it works. It's only 500 pounds, but the monitor works. I don't know the English word for aliños. Google said, no. That's a Google said. Google said it's called dressing. No, it's not. Aliños. Like I said, red pepper, onion, green onion, leeks, cilantro, and celery. That is the chicken that we boiled yesterday and today we're going to shred it. On the stove we have onoto in oil and in the back we have panela. Onoto is echoiri. Achiote. 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 Like they said. Back we have panela. Brown cane, really? Panela? Brown cane sugar? Mentero. That's the onoto. That's the panela that I just showed you. Here we have the bacon, the beef, the pork, and then we have oregano, salt, red wine, Worcestersh Worcestershire sauce, mustard, sriracha, paprika, black pepper. Everyone makes their own guiso to like, you know, their own sazon little flavor. This is what we're gonna put in ours. Over here we're shredding the chicken. These are the leaves that yesterday we washed multiple times not we my dad did <laughs> i didn't do a lick of nothing um he washed them wiped them down multiple times making sure there was no dirt on them and then it was dry and then like my mom said yesterday these they have to go over the fire to make them more malleable because like she said when we're in venezuela they already come ahumada like i don't know what that word is in english i'll put it on the screen Small smoked they the leaves come smoked and then they're malleable and they don't break when you wrap them right now they're not smoked so we're going to take this later 
smoke them. Arena pan, yes sir, the yellow one. And then this in the back, I'll show you right now, overview. This is the broth from the chicken that we boiled yesterday and we use that to make the masa. To give it flavor. So these are the banana leaves and that is the broth from yesterday. We're gonna cook it in parts. We're gonna do the beef in one load. Not load, this isn't laundry. But so you know, we put the onoto in the oil, let that get nice and red flavor for blah, blah, blah. We put a little bit of oil in the pan, you can see kind of at the bottom. Now we're gonna grab the bacon. Food Network, call me. Anyways, we're gonna grab the bacon, put it in here. Put the bacon out, we added more of the oil with the onoto in it. More flavor. And now we're gonna put three fourths of what's in this bowl in there. This has been simmering for about like 10, 15 minutes. Do you see the beautiful color it has? It's because of the onoto. And it kind of reduced like half the size. Now we're gonna add the beef that we cut up yesterday. Worcestershire sauce. For this quantity, the recipe that we're following says that it's a quarter cup of sauce. And now we put salt and pepper to taste. That's good. That's good. Delicious. We did that. That's good. Mm -hmm. This is barbecue. finished making our yakas for the year. Shout out to mom and dad. They did most of the work. I just sat here and looked cute. We did it. They did it. We did it. And you're like, Natasha, you had a hair change? Magic. Midway, my hair is now in braids. Monday night, I have an exam tomorrow at 6 a.m. because it's 9 a.m. like local time. 6 a.m. local time because it's 9 a.m. in Canada. So I have to go to bed relatively early. It's currently 7.51 and I have not started studying for my exam. Tomorrow's exam is fine. It's another note exam. I'm gonna control F my way through that. So that's fine, the notes have been set. But Thursday's exam is from the noggin and I have not started to study. Granted, I have done like one pass of review because of the, I don't know if, a, somewhere in the vlogmas or maybe right before vlogmas i had the quizzes to submit if you saw that vlog the eight quizzes to do so in order to do those quizzes i had to study so i did the first pass of studying but i haven't looked at the content since this video is an hour long and then i'm going to study for two more hours three hours in total for tonight before i go to bed because i feel like if i don't study at all today and do everything tomorrow and wednesday it might be a disaster right tomorrow and Wednesday. I have two days. Yeah. So I'm like, let me do three days. Also, was it last video that my camera broke? I got a monitor. So this is connected to my camera so I can see what I look like while I'm recording. The monitor also attaches to the camera, but it's so bulky. I just decided to detach it and put it on the desk. Anyways, the studying has begun. I don't want to do this. I can't wait for it to be Thursday at 8 a.m. Because then Meg's 8 a.m. local time here. Because then I'll be done. And I'll be free. 
Damn. Okay. You know, these might only apply to nurses Back to studying. In care setting or in the hospital. Oh, how am I studying? I already have all my notes written down, so that's perfect. I'm just going to do active recall, review, review. I'm looking at the course summary slash course review that the class provided for Thursday's exam. So that's what I'm listening to right now. And then I'm going to use the Pomodoro method. The Pomodoro method is, it, there's different ones. I like to use a 25 minute work, five minute break. In that video, there's different lengths that you can do. I'm going to do the two hour length today. And then that way it gets me, it's easier for me to focus that way because I know that the video is running there's a little alarm that goes off when it's time for your break and then you stop what you're doing. I usually go on TikTok for five minutes that turns into five seconds and then it rings again and then you go back to work. That's how I started for my last exam season and I really liked it. I'm going to use it again for this exam season. Let me get into this work. Okay. 